Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're going to remove this plastic air guide in the engine compartment. Let's get some push clips. Use a small flat bladed screwdriver to work those up. I'm going to use my trim tool. Pop them out. Do the same for the other one. This is actually clipped underneath this little piece of trim here. You can kind of pull it up, just sort of pop it out. And do the same on this side, just kind of pull it up, pop that pin out. Kind of push it this way a little bit, lift that up. It's got a lip that's kind of pushed into the grill, so it'll just kind of pull out. Pull this trim out. I need to pull that clip out. Just gonna pop this one up, just so I can move this trim a little better. Just need to slide it over like that. And then we're gonna pull this out from behind the grill. Slide it up and off of the hood latch. Kind of flex it off. Just gonna spray some rust penetrant on the bolts that are mounting the hood latch to the radiator support. You can also, there's an opening in behind. These are 10 millimeter. Use the socket and ratchet to remove them. Just using a universal joint on the lower one. Can't quite get the extension straight on. Just trying to be careful of the radiator. Go back to our regular extension and remove the last one. lift the latch off the radiator support to unplug it. That's the little sensor. It tells you the hood's open. Plug it here. And slide it off of the radiator support. This tab's got some flex to it. There's a little uh, lock right here. You can push down and then you might need to use two fingers. Push it in and then slide that off. Then you can feed that out. I'm going to undo the cable, I'm going to pull it up, and then we need to feed the lead weight end out. It's kind of like a little, little hook, you have to feed it out underneath, and then we can pull it out of place. And the hood latch is off. I'm going to reinstall it. The holes are slotted. If you need to adjust the up and down, you can. Uh, right now, we're just going to line up using the marks left by the bolts and put them in where they were originally. So I'm going to start. I'm going to hook up the hood cable. It's going to go underneath and under the hook. Just like that. Snap it in place. And feed the electrical connector underneath. I'll hook up the bolts first. Get this one started. And I'll install the last one underneath. Just gonna tighten it up. Until it gets tight, I'm gonna stop and do the same for the others. I'm gonna plug the connector back in. First, I'm going to slide it over the little mount for it. Push them together so they lock. The hood latch is reinstalled. I'm going to reinstall this air guide. It's kind of flexible, so I'm just going to slide it up and over. 
and you're gonna fit it over these little rubber bump stops. These tabs actually go underneath the fender, and then this lip goes behind the grill. I'm gonna kinda flex it into place, just like that. And can bend this up. Slide this over. Fold this up, right, those like that. Do the same for the other side. Kind of flip this in, push it in, flip this over, put this under the plastic trim. Reinstall the clip that was here. And reinstall this clip on this side and repeat that for the other side. And reinstall these push clips. And do the same for both sides. Close the hood. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.